All right, so the snow's coming. There's no denying it now. We were trying to, I don't know, find some kind of scenario where maybe it wasn't gonna snow um, a lot, but it's gonna snow a lot, apparently. Blizzard-like conditions, is that the case? That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, so high winds, high amount of snow, um, you know. It's all good. Shannon's already been designated to work from home. I'm sure I'll be getting a call about school closing and all of that jazz, but it's not supposed to start until tonight. So I guess things can change, but it doesn't look that way. So I we're going to, I can't, I hope we, listen, I want to just get everything organized here, which we have to, because apparently there's going to be, oh, we'll do some, uh, some snow fun with the some Jeep. Snow fun with I like that idea. Step one though, is to get this place secure because apparently there's supposed to be like a tidal surge a bit, right? Could yeah. be the tide could be a few feet higher than usual which means that we could end up taking some water, which means that we have to get the garage and everything in order, right? Yeah. Get the generator all set up just in case we lose power. Rocky, get out of there, will you? So we're gonna handle all of that stuff first. Then I'm gonna get a pot of sauce, right? Yeah, so, what, what's he doing? He's looking something. He's getting, he's in the garage. That's what dogs do. <laughs> Let me just move that. So we're gonna get the garage all handled. I'm gonna get a pot of tomato sauce on, um, and then we're gonna hang out, I guess, and do some snow, and my report card to do, so I gotta do that tonight too, I need to tell you that. They're due, but you know what? Maybe a snow day will help us out with that. Maybe. Dogs are blocking me Nick from Nick James. James. are you happy boy? Nikki's down here with us. Rocky and Kira are like, what are you gonna do to him? Whoa. Hello, mister. Welcome back to the party. It's a great day. Happy? Happy. All right, well, I'm happy Sunday. too. No, what are you doing? No, what are you doing? So that's what we have going on. It's Sunday. It's a great day. God bless you. Thank you, know? you so much for hanging out with us. Everything's awesome. So at some point in the recent past, Nikki decided that he no longer wants to play with phone blue. What phone do you like now, Nick? What's your phone blue? Yeah, but whose phone do you have right now? Yes, I do. Which phone is this? Yeah, it's the phone black. Yep, that's phone black. And whose phone is phone black? It's daddy's phone, isn't it? Yes, that's daddy's phone. So what's been happening is Nicholas walks over to me and he'll say, phone black, which means that he wants phone black. Shannon just beat it out of here. She said, my hair's not dry, no makeup, she told me, so she beat it. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be back soon though. <laughs> but Nikki's happy as a clam because he has phone black, right? <laughs> So we're way ahead of the game. We have everything we need. We are hurricane ready. Everything off the floor that can float away in the garage is off the floor. We started up the generator. That's all ready to go and in position. I have all the firewood up here ready to go. We're gonna get that blazing shortly. But one other thing we're gonna do is make some tomato sauce because it feels like the right thing to do if there's a hurricane coming. And I don't know why, frankly, uh, but that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna make some sauce. Nick just asked for it. Nikki, Nick James, do you want some sauce? Yes. What, what are we gonna have with the sauce? Sauce. Sauce and? Huh? Sauce and? Bre bread. Bread, bread and sauce. That's Nick's favorite combination. <laughs> uh, and, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna grill up some vegetables too. Uh, and that's what's happening. I think Sean's actually gonna make some meatballs. All kinds of great things. So here's what you need if you wanna make the Nikki TV tomato sauce. A couple of onions, small ones, head of garlic, olive oil, ground black pepper, oregano. You need fresh basil. This is basil that was frozen from my garden from the summer, still delicious. Salt, we're doing four cans of crushed tomatoes and then two cans of San Marzano peeled tomatoes. Hi, handsome. And I'm gonna crush those up by hand and add them. Mommy. Yes, handsome. On, on, are you, two. Nikki, are you gonna help me make the sauce? Yes. All right, all right. On, on, two. And usually I will use uh, neck bones for the so uh, sauce as well, but we didn't have any, so I just grabbed this pork chop, which we had, uh, and that is gonna do just fine. That's everything you need. Most of the time, I'll also add some red wine just before the end, about a half hour before, but we don't have any red wine, do we, Shannon? Sure we do. Do we? Yeah. I don't think so. And what I do, and the, and the red wine gives it a little bit of a sweeter flavor as well. Uh, and since I don't think we have any wine left, I'm going to use a little bit of sugar as well. I'm not really sure what it is either about, you know, potentially 
emergency type situations in making tomato sauce, but it feels like the right thing to do. And it reminds me a little bit of when COVID first hit and schools closed and everybody got all panicky and went to the supermarket and took all the toilet paper they can. I went there and I'm thinking, are there any cans of tomatoes left? That's what I was thinking. I called Shannon like panic. Like Shannon, they don't have Tudor Russo. They don't have <laughs> <laughs> end of days are coming. All the sauce is gone. Um, so that's what we're doing. The blizzard is coming. We're getting 12 to 18 inches of snow, uh, but we'll have tomato sauce for sure. And it's going to be delicious. And Nikki loves it. And he's going to help me. Hey, I'm going to go to Buffalo Wild Wings. You want a burger and fries? Yes. Buffalo? <laughs> that sounds like fun. There's a bigger couch right there. All three of you on this little one. Look, she wants to get on there too. Oh, oh my goodness. Nikki, you're so happy, huh, handsome? Johnny's celebrating, finished his work. Way to be, John John. What did you do? English? Yep. Oh, we got Oh my goodness, there's Rocky taking an afternoon nap. All right, um, are you ready to cook some sauce with me? Yes. All right, come on, handsome. Let's do it. Can yeah. we put, here, look, come over here. Can you put that nice and slowly? Very good, dump it in there. Excellent, very good. All right, we gotta let that heat up a little bit. Then the next ingredient goes in, okay? He's very excited about this. Yes. Red, up. Red put it up. Oh, there you go. <laughs> good job, Nikki. Yay. Yay, doing Yay. a great job, buddy. John, you want a cup of coffee? Sure, I'll have some mm -hmm. coffee, definitely. I love that idea. Coffee time. Oh, you're putting a pork chop in the... Uh... Yeah. We didn't have any bones, so we're going to go pork chop. It's going to be fantastic. Oh. You usually don't put bones? I usually use uh, pork neck bones, but we don't have any, so... Yeah, red wine? Yeah, put the red wine in. We don't have any red wine either. What? I don't know what happened. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of um, sugar instead. You can do that. Mm. All right, the oil's good and hot, so we're going to put the pork chop in. There it is. Smells good. Smells oh, really yeah. good. No, it's gonna be. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be delicious. Smells good. We'll be eating this Smells all through good. the blizzard. All right, so we are at a critical point in the sauce right here because we have to brown the onions and the garlic just right. Uh, you don't want to do it too much. You don't want to do it too little. So I suggest not walking away. That's for sure. This is actually perfect. Uh, I'm going to take it off the heat. That way it doesn't splatter too much when I dump the tomatoes in there. Plus I want to have Nikki do it. So this looks great. So the steam is all gone because I took it off the burner because I didn't want it too hot so it wouldn't splatter. But that's exactly what it should look like. Uh, everything is nice and brown. I'd like the garlic a little bit browner, but I didn't want to go any further and risk uh, burning the onions. Uh, but this is going to be delicious. It looks, it looks perfect. Mommy. There you go. Nice and fast. One, two, three, dump. He's got to dump it fast. Can you help him? There you go. Very good. Because if you do it fast, it won't splatter. There's one. Come on, Nikki. You can do it. Come on, let's do it. One, two, three. Very good, Nick. Good job. Next one. How many more? Just that one in it because the other ones I have to uh, break up. Very, very good, Nicholas. Good job. Way to go, buddy. Daddy's going to do this, okay? That, it's going to taste delicious. Amazing. Give me a high five. You make a sauce? Great oh my job. God, you're such a big boy. Yes. What are we going to have with the sauce? Bread mm -hmm. and sauce? Mm -hmm. How about we make some meatballs, too? Meatballs. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Okay, John, what do we have? I'm just going to add the salt, the oregano. I wish I had fresh. I'm sorry. That's okay. It tastes so much better We're gonna with fresh oregano. We're going to plant more and we'll have it this spring. Okay. We have to plant pepper, oregano, and lots of basil this summer. Lots of basil. Well, I want to have it all hanging in the restaurant, so it's going to be fantastic. Oh, all right. get a load of you. Yep, salt, pepper, oregano, um, and basil, which I have that is frozen from summer. Yep. Just want to get the make sure there's no stems in here. Don't want the stems. I think we just kind of rushed and threw these in the bags, but oh, yeah. it's still delicious. 
Do you remember the time we had all that basil and we were going on vacation? And the basil and the tomatoes were all ready. So yes. I was running through the garden with, with bushels, like garbage bags, just shoveling tomatoes in there. Yeah. And at that point, they were all over ripened and there was nothing we can do with them, but you can freeze them. Yes. And if you freeze them, you can still use them for tomato sauce, which we did that entire winter. Oh, it's fabulous. And that worked out great. Yeah. But when we came back from vacation, we had like lawn and leaf bags filled with frozen basil and, and tomatoes, tomatoes in the know? freezer. But it works. I mean, it's fine. Where were we going? Do you remember? We were going up to Hunter Mountain. It could have been. Possibly. I don't You're know. Right. That happens. It happens. But that's how you end up with frozen basil in January. That's great. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Woohoo! All done? You don't want all done. I know. Do you want me to play Don't Worry About a Thing? Don't worry about a thing. That's the song. Don't worry about a thing. That was awesome, Nikki. Amazing. Time to happening. Got a tray of peppers. That's and always fun. Sausage is underneath there. Oh, oh, the sausage underneath Turkey there. Turkey sausage. Oh, oh, okay. That's. I mean, that's going to be good. Not as good as regular sausage, but. <laughs> What's in here, Shannon? This is going to be for meatballs. We Yum. Make some chicken meatballs. Oh, okay. That sounds delicious. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, would you mind? I mean, I don't want to get. I, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to step on any toes here. But would you mind if I took that sausage out of that pan and barbecued it first, and then cooked it with the peppers? John, what are you doing with my sausage? I'm, gonna, I'm putting it on the barbecue, and I was just going to talk about this alone. That was a little manipulative of me, I know, because I wouldn't. Because I figured if I had the camera on you, and I was <laughs> suggesting that kind of change that you wouldn't say to me something, you know, mean, frankly. <laughs> Not that you ever said much, you know, rarely say you be mean to me, but I figured that was a good strategy. But we're going it was to a great barbecue. strategy, My I have to tell you. And yes. you know what? Yes. I didn't want to go outside and barbecue, so okay. you want to do that to I, your sausage? By all means, go ahead, son. When you make it all together, it's delicious. It's just a, But, a, a, I'm waiting for the but. I'm just trying, we're just gonna do something a little bit differently. <laughs> but, that's it, but. that's it. I'm always so thankful okay. that you make food for me like this. And I am, I'm thankful. Anytime someone makes food for you, you really shouldn't you know, offer any suggestions or changes. You should just be thankful that you're getting it. And I am, I'm very thankful. Especially now since I'm outside. Here's what I think about cooking sausage and peppers. I can't really see myself. I like to cook the sausage separately. I just do. It stays drier. You could make it a little bit crispier. And then you cook the vegetables on the side, be it peppers, mushrooms, onions, or whatever. And then you mix it all together at the end. That's how I like to do it. So I just figured today was the day to say to Shannon, maybe let's just try it that way. And it seemed to work out pretty well. Nice and hot. Sausage is on the barbecue. It's gonna be great. All right, we're ready. See, I also like my sausage on the well done side. And if you cook it with the peppers, typically it doesn't get as dark as I like it. This looks like it came out perfect. Oh, almost lost one there. Come on back here. Come on back, now we go. We're in business. But we're gonna take a quick time out, Shannon and I. John and Nick just had some Buffalo Wild Wings, right guys? Yes. We only got about a half hour of sunlight left, and these two were like, take us out. Take Which, us, Daddy. So we're going to take them down to the park, let them run it out a little bit. Rocky knows what's on the horizon. Yeah, he does. But Shannon and I are also on a quest to find some more sea glass. That's a, that's a picture of Shannon and Johnny a bunch of years ago when we were away on vacation. But anyway, yup, Fire Island. That's where we were. Anyway, so that's what we're looking for. We need a ton of it because we want to make a mermaid mosaic out of it. And I have to know where there is a lot of this. So we're going to head over to the park. So Mrs. Harrison just called Shannon and she said that her husband was down at the beach that we were at yesterday. 
and he saw seals. So we have our eyes open, because if there were seals down there, there should be seals right here. We haven't seen any yet, but that would be pretty cool. We're doing pretty good in our sea glass collection effort, which is gonna lead to a mermaid on a piece of driftwood, hopefully. That's the plan. We need a lot. Yeah, we need a we need an army of people here for sure. Rocky's just happy to be here. Me too. That's for sure. How's the <laughs> sauce? I think it's done. I think we're good. Oh, the sauce is definitely done. I'm mm. just asking Nicholas what he mm. thinks about the flavor. Oh, Do you yeah, love bagels. it? Is it delicious? Mm. Give me a cheek. Give me a kiss. I love you. Oh my god, it couldn't be better. So this is what the pork chop should look like, just Full falling pie. apart, Turn falling off the delicious. bone. Oh wow. Oh yeah, it's gonna be delicious. I feel Absolutely. Like you just like grab the bone and do this. Yeah, it'll it'll all fall right off. So Shannon made some mushrooms and spinach. Yep. That is gonna be fantastic. Uh, she's gonna have spaghetti squash. I'm not ready for that sort of thing just yet, but I understand where she's coming from. We have our turkey, sausage, and peppers. Uh, it looks delicious. Chicken meatballs. I don't know. You know, this is all some newfangled stuff happening. Apparently, it's going to keep my heart beating longer. Happy Sunday. Thanks Happy for hanging Sunday. out with us, everybody. Hey, can you say goodbye to everybody? God bless you. We love, we love you. you. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time. Everybody be safe. Be safe. Be safe. 12 to 18, it's happening. <laughs>